we've just harvested a 60 year old tree that was planted over 60 years ago without the use of any fertilizers, pesticides, or anything. Organic tree, this is. And we are confident that by doing this, we are helping preserve the last wild trees that exist in the jungles. It comes to us, it comes to me, I should say that. The, the switch to organic is going to have to happen sooner or later worldwide. There's no other way in uh, producing agar with oil other than to farm the tree. You know, the wild trees are eventually going to finish. So the, the sooner we start doing this the right way, the more hopes we have of perfecting the process, of improving the quality of the oil, and of helping preserve the wild forests and jungles and also supporting and helping the farmers assuring their livelihood, their security, their safety and their families as opposed to the pressure that they face by the people who manage the, the black market in Southeast Asia there's a lot of pressure on these farmers to find these wild trees and to, even after they find them they're not able to sell them for the prices that they want they're forced to give them to the heads of the of the food mafia if you will so we want to be sure that we have nothing to do with the endangerment that both the trees and these farmers and these jungle people and these hunters and these craftsmen if you will are facing because of the existence of these last few wild trees. We want to be clear of this. And we believe that by doing the right thing, we're going to face success ultimately. We are going to find the success that we're looking for because it is the, everything is connected. So if you, if you do the right thing, then, then you find success. If you do the wrong thing, then you're doomed to fail. That's, that's at least that's what, what I believe. That's what Islam teaches us. So we can't can't put anybody's life in danger. We can't. Uh, we can't exterminate this tree. We can't just chop down the last few trees that remain in these jungles, even if it means, you know, starting modest with this cultivation effort. You know, Fifteen-year-old trees, twenty-year-old trees. We secured three sixty-year-old trees, out of which we just harvested the first one. And, better late than never. So it's the time that everyone make a conscientious effort towards preserving the agarwood trees. And if they want to be using agarwood 10 years down the line, 15 years down the line, then now is the time to start thinking about preserving these trees and also endorsing cultivation efforts. By purchasing cultivated oud, you are ensuring that the quality of the oud that you're going to be wearing 10 years down the line is going to be a superior quality oud. So you are actually helping improve the quality across the board, improving the quality of the oil, the quality of the production, the quality of life of the people that are involved in planting this tree or harvesting this tree. So we encourage everybody to make a conscientious effort to support this effort, to support this move that we're making towards cultivated and organic. And that's all I gotta say.